Hey guys, Barry here from TGS with a Forza Horizon 4 Super 7 Achievement Hunting video. We are going for 7 squared, 25 gamer score. Complete the Horizon Super 7 7 times. Exactly what it says, you're going to want to go ahead and complete all 7 levels of the Super 7 7 total times. I'm already on my 7th uh, attempt here on number 7, running thread the needle for this one. We're going to hit uh, 46 in the Apollo IE, 18 in less than 1.5 minutes. As you can see, I've done a bunch of other ones. Basically what you're going to do is I'm going to go ahead and show you from the start. So you're going to click start. You're going to go over to Horizon Super 7. You can do this. Uh, you, know, you can complete challenges using the browser. You can create one over here. But what you're going to want to do is pretty much select the Horizon Super 7. And what it's going to do is it's going to set up seven individual challenges for you one at a time. So it's going to be different each time. I will say sometimes I have seen some repeats once or twice during my seven, seven, uh, you know, combo. So that's 49 total challenges. We're on the final one. So uh, for instance, just to show you guys a few ideas of what you might encounter, hit 184 in the Challenger, 15 in less than 26 seconds. Hit 82 miles per hour in the Mercedes-Benz Super Sport in less than 28 seconds. You get to the destination in the 599XX under 30 minutes. Blah blah blah. They can range from a simple time thing that might last 20 seconds to a simple jump to complex stunt worlds and uh, races that take five plus minutes. If you're looking to get the achievement as quick as possible, I recommend staying under a minute or, you know, probably under two minutes per challenge. I was able to get most of it done in uh, just over two hours, including, you know, the time in between and some time spent uh, looking around. So uh, pretty much, you know, it could easily be done in around two to two and a half hours is my guess for a full completion as we've pretty much proven that myself here today on my live stream that I'm recording this on. But what, all you have to do is complete this 7-7. Seven, seven. So once you complete it, it's going to ask you if you want to reset it. Just reset it each time, and you just rinse repeat it until you get the total of 49 challenges completed. This is the final one I'm going to do. And once you complete all of that, you'll obviously unlock the achievement 7 squared. This will also help you towards, uh, you know, completing the Magnificent 77, even more grindy, but reasonably, you know, possible with an extra hour or two of time, especially if you use the easier levels. And lastly, it's going to help you towards reaching level 10. So, just want to throw it out there. Let's go ahead and check this out by Squirmy Chunk. <laughs> so, what I'm going to recommend, guys, these jumps are cool and all, but when you're going for speed, or uh, you're just looking to get the challenges done, you do not have to do these ramps. They're optional, obviously. So, my suggestion is just haul ass and uh, focus on the road for a challenge like this. And just try not to crash. It's probably the best thing. We're going to have to jump now, it seems. Didn't really give me another option, and we're getting a horrifying approach. We just shattered the windshield. Man. You have to only go 46 miles an hour, so I, I guess we're good. <laughs> Completed and the achievement. Seven square, 25 gamer score. We just changed it from 0.01 to 0.02 percent, just to push, you know, throw that out there. My guy's struggling to get through here. This is not me driving, by the way. This is the AI. He's about to drive up the dang wall. But uh, it's that simple. Just 49 of these. Like I said, two to two and a half hours, depending which ones you do. If you do really, really simple ones, you can actually skip them. So I'll show you guys that in a second just to uh, finish out this little achievement video just to give you a method to skip some of the cards if you feel they're you know too time consuming like I said just skip the obstacles you can drive right to the end I was able to cut a few of them short that way but right here it says restart horizon super 7 after completing it the first second third time whatever it is just click that and then eventually you'll run it 49 times total make sure you're in the horizon super 7 menu and for instance you see this you're like oh, I don't want to do fun stunt race even though it sounds cool you're going to click RB, and you're going to burn the challenge card. What that's going to do is give you a new challenge. Now you have the easy HW achievement. For instance, this one will help you get the easy uh, Hot Wheels achievement. Quite a few of these. You'll probably unlock most of the achievements just running through this. But uh, it is easy as that, guys. So definitely recommend checking it out. I also just want to show you guys last thing. If you look on the map, you'll see that if you go to the festival, it is directly west right here. Giant Super 7, so... You can access it either way, but uh, it is really that simple, guys. Would appreciate if you like and subscribe. 